Yo, this is CG Ruthless Sports. I will be brutally honest and nothing but being brutally honest. Coming at you with another video. So let's do a 49ers versus Packers preview. Here's what I'm going to expect from the Green Bay Packers. Are they going to be really good on offense? Because what they did against the Lions, it could be more of a competitive game. But if they play exactly like they did on the road against the Saints, then it can be the disaster like 2019. So... What do I expect from Green Bay? I expect their offense to be a little bit better this time around. I expect at least our defense to give them problems. I expect at least a favorable matchup, you know? Sure, Norman should be able to be able to match up well against Devontae Adams a little bit. Sure, Devontae Adams is one of the better receivers in the lead, but what's one thing we actually been done over the years against the Packers? We've been able to shut down whoever their best receiver is. We definitely got to improve stopping the run a little bit. As far as all this, uh, this, uh, this first two weeks, it's all about getting wins. It doesn't matter who you face. It's not our fault the NFL gave us those two schedules. And no disrespect to the Lions. I mean, they are a rebuilding team, and we just were too relaxed. And you know, it's whatever. And to the Eagles, it's they're not as bad as people think they are, man. I mean. You got to admit that the fact that they dominate the Atlanta Falcons, that's kind of convincing that they can be the team to win the NFC East, you know? I'm just saying, but uh, allowing 11 points against them that game speaks volume. We made some significant improvements. So what do we expect from the Packers is um, they're not going to have their best tackle. So Bosa should be able to be feasting on Aaron Rodgers. And a lot of this has to play a factor that we're going to have a season home opener on a Sunday night football, and the fans are just going to be excited. So, what's better than coming home with a team that's 2 0 on the road? The best feeling in the world is to build momentum. And in order for that to happen, is the 49ers just have to come out with their best. I mean, sure, we're coming off injuries at running back. Sure, our secondary is pretty dinged up, but they did a solid job. So, I expect the 49ers to at least play physical on Green Bay and make them make them submit, you know? I think the 49ers are just going to pretty much destroy the Packers. And it's not being too arrogant and cocky. The question is, is which Green Bay Packers team is going to show up on Sunday night? Is it going to be the one from 2019 that got blown the brakes? Is it going to be the one that was beat by the Saints? Or we're going to see the one that actually played a decent game against the Lions and actually played a dominant performance is that the green bay packers we're going to see because in perspectively our defense matches up really well against that offense and we've had rogers number when we are at our best so let's remember that so as far as my prediction what i got in my prediction is the 49ers are going to win this game and here's why doesn't matter who we got at running back they got one of the worst run defense in football and their secondary, despite having Jar Alexander, who was really a good cornerback, but he hasn't really done too good like the last two games. He's kind of like uh, regressed a little bit. So I think we're going to have a favorable matchup. We're going to have Debo Samuel on a roll, man. Debo Samuel, those last two games, man, he's already becoming one of the best receivers right now. So how are you going to cover this guy? That's the question. You're going to put one of your best corners against him. It's just not going to look pretty. It's going to look ugly. So um, I'm going to put it like this. The, the keys to the game of beating the Green Bay Packers is run it down their throats, run the time of possession, frustrate Aaron Rodgers, get to him, and most of all, give the ball to Debo. Feed him the ball. Throw him the ball or jet sweep. Do whatever you can to just dominate the Packers. Uh, most of all, Kittle just has to be a factor a little bit as a blocker and most of all as a receiving threat. I don't expect Jimmy G to put up some crazy numbers. I expect him to manage the game. So here's what I'm going to expect out of this. Jimmy D part, Jimmy D's probably going to get like 220 or 250 yards, two touchdowns, maybe a pick or so, but we're still going to win a dominant fashion. Whoever the running back is, whether it's Elijah Mitchell, I think he's probably just going to get 80 yards. And then our other running back will probably just get like 30 to 40 yards rushing and maybe a touchdown. But I see this as a dominant fashion and a statement. So I have my team winning this game 34 to 21. 
because I feel like we're disrespected. I feel like we don't get enough credit. I feel like even though we did play the Lions, it's not exactly as bad as people think they are. But when we play the Philadelphia Eagles, that was a significant improvement. That's what I expect out of my team is to make better improvement and progress. So let me know what y'all think. Like I said, the 49ers are going to win, and I said so. So CG Rufus Sports is out, and you already know. Go Niners.